Hello, this video is going to be about documenting a visit in OpenEMR. Okay, in order to document a visit, there's a couple different ways it can be done. We're going to do both of them in this video. All right, so the first way to document a visit is we're going to use a calendar. Now, listen to me closely. The calendar and creating an encounter are not mutually, 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 okay, exclusive to each other. You can have a calendar, a calendar appointment and never create an encounter. You can have an encounter and never create a calendar appointment. Okay, so get that through your head. They don't have to, they both don't have to exist, but we're gonna do both ways. So this time, it's, we, it is now noon my time at the recording of this video. So I'm gonna set the appointment, that's not noon, it's only 1.30, I mean 11.30. So I'm gonna go back to 11.30 now. So I'm gonna do it here and we're gonna go ahead and create a visit and we're gonna say establish patient and we're going to, uh, oh man, let's see if Bill is a patient. Yes, Billford is a patient. And we're gonna go ahead and say it's for today, so it's a five, 15 minute visit. And we're not gonna put anything else in here for now. When you put comments in here, comments also become the chief complaint. So you can put in here why the patient is coming in and it'll show up also in the encounter. So. All right, so let's save that and when your calendar is not set up right, you're going to get these little hokey things up here. It's going to say, hey, provider not available. And but do you want to use it anyway? Go ahead and tell yes. And then this thing here, just go ahead and close it. And now we got the patient over here because I don't think I chose Billy Smith as a client. But however we did, it's there. So I'm going to go ahead and now it depends on how the system is set up. Just for grins and giggles, I'm going to go check and see because I'm using the demo system out there. So I'm not exactly sure how is it set up. So if I go in counter and I'm gonna look and see if the encounter feature is set up. So navigate, navigate. Let's see, page size, that's nothing. And if we go to features, print, provide, let's see, enable, allow encounter claims, you don't want that. And then if I go to billing and I wanna look here, okay. And I'm gonna go to calendar. All right, so this would be one. All right, so here is what I'm looking for. Auto free new encounter. This is set to one per day, or you can have multiple per day, or you can turn it off. And what this feature does is that when you're on the calendar and the patient's checking in, it's now 11.45, I wanna check the patient in. They arrived early. I'm gonna go here, and then I'm going to select the status, and I'm gonna make it arrive. Okay, arrived is the only setting you can use. You can go change them, that'll be for another video. But arrived is the status that you wanna to use to make the system know that you wanna go ahead and create that encounter. So I'm gonna click arrive and then go ahead and save that. As you can see, this is still here. So watch this, I'm gonna save. And it says, hey, you provided insect. Okay, and then look, it says new encounters created. That's gonna pop up, that's good. So new encounters created, let me close this. And now when the provider comes in in his workflow and he goes to the calendar, opens up the patient's chart and bam, there he is in the patient's chart. And when you go look here, there is a visit for the day. And right here where it says the patient is inpatient, by the way, somebody else is in the system too, creating encounters. We're both doing the same thing, but at uh, different times, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> jump into this encounter. If I jump into the encounter, this is where I'm gonna do my documentation at. As you can see that the visit reason, which I put in the calendar, is now here in the reason. If I go, I can edit that reason by going here and changing this. I see somebody's been in their plan because there's a lot of fields up here that are missing, but that's okay. If yours has a bunch more, that's because somebody didn't turn them off. But at the moment, I'm gonna cancel this because I'm not gonna change it. Now, when I wanna fill out my documentation, these are the documents that I'm filling out that are here in the system. These are the native ones. You can add uh, layout-based forms to the system or hard-coded forms if you're a developer. Okay, but for the layout-based forms, they should show up here in the system. So if I go to here, 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 layouts, okay, and go here, here, you can see the forms that I have. And so if I were to create a new layout and let's call it LBF, and it needs to start with LBF or LBT, and let's call this uh, 
treatment plan. And then I'm gonna give it a title of treatment plan. Now, even though there's nothing in here, see by default, it puts it under clinical. That's what I wanted to show you is that by default, all LDL forms are put under clinical. And so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here because this is all I wanna do for now. It's just a quick show and tell. I'm gonna save that. And now when I go back to the encounter dashboard and reload it, even though this form is empty, now you see my treatment plan, okay? So here's where you're gonna do your documentation. You have procedure orders, if you're gonna be doing any labs, and then you can create new questionnaires because you're gonna go out to the LOINT system and pull down questionnaires that have already been created. You can add them to the system or you can have one time use. The administrative documents is where you're gonna find your fee sheet for doing billing. So when you click on this, and you can watch my other video that goes through in detail of how to do billing. Billing is something that it can be learned in less than 10 minutes. Okay, so this is how you document a visit. Thanks for watching.